Hey everybody, welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. I'm Vic and today we're going to show you how to make a boomerang out of a piece of cover from a Tupperware dish. Um, everybody has Tupperware kicking around the house and they have old covers with dishes that they don't go to. Don't ruin a perfectly good cover. Take an old one like this. This is probably from back in the 70s. I don't know. It's been in my house for a long time. So what you need is the cover, a boomerang to trace onto, a marker, and a pair of scissors. Very basic. Uh, if you want to use my design, you can go to boomerangsbyvic.com uh, and you'll find the Healy on my products page. Pull this design up on your front screen of your home computer. Get it to where you've zoomed in on it enough to have it be four inches across from this point to this point. Of course, it'll be the same here. Once you've hit four inches from here to here, then you've zoomed it in enough. Take a piece of paper, put it over your computer screen, a clear piece of paper, and trace out the design. Then, put the design onto here, trace around your piece of paper with a marker. Okay, and next we're going to show you cutting it out and turning it into a return boomerang. Okay, so you can see here I've cut both boomerangs out um, with a pair of scissors. And what I also did, I forget to mention, you do need a little piece of sandpaper, okay? Figure out which is going to be your top side and, uh, and mark it somewhere if you want. I'm going to put a little X on here just so I remember this is the top side of this one. That's going to be the top side of this one. Okay. And the reason you need to know the top and bottom is because we're going to put airfoils on this and you need to do it on the right side of the boomerang uh, for throwing. So what I needed the sandpaper was for, I just want you to go around the top side edge and just kind of round this off. You'll feel now after cutting it that your edge is very square. So you just want to round off this edge on the outside, all the way around the outside edge of the boomerang. Just kind of round it off and uh, make it so it's kind of smooth. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is we're going to airfoil this boomerang. I'll show you how. For a right-handed thrower, you're going to grab onto it like this. Top side, lay it down, and we're going to put an airfoil on each of these wings. You're going to take the boomerang in the middle here where my hands are, basically like this, and you're going to bend down in this direction. And I'm going to bend this side down, not this side, this side. So I'm going to bend this down by hand, and you need to go a little bit over what you're supposed to. You can see what happens. I've made this taper down on just this side of the boomerang. Turn it, do the same to this wing. Go over what you're supposed to and it'll come back and it'll hold the shape downward. And lastly, do it on the third wing. Okay. Now for a left-handed boomerang, you're going to do the, the opposite. You're still going to use the top side. Remember the top side facing you. Bend it down, only you're going to bend this side down and try to keep this side up. Okay, so just do the opposite. I'm not actually going to build that today. I'm going to build two righties so I can do some uh, some cool stuff when you've got two right-handed boomerangs. You can throw them at the same time or one after another, and I'll show you that after. So basically, that's it for the airfoils. And you can see here about how much I've done it on each wing. And you can see noticeably that each side is bent down a little bit. Okay? Okay, so basically, that's about it. Um, I'm going to take this now and give it a quick paint job so it'll show up good because I'm going to go outside and show you how both these fly. And uh, probably a bright orange, some black. Uh, it's winter time here so I want it to show up in the video. So we'll be back with some throws. Okay guys, we're outside to do some throwing. As you can see I painted both boomerangs, both right handed, let's not forget that. And uh, it's kind of cool, you can actually see, I didn't realize that after I sprayed it, you can see the Tupperware uh, logo still on there. I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera. but. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna uh, do some throws. I'm gonna uh, show you how to throw first. So front side faces you. I'm gonna do a pinch grip, okay? I'm gonna take two fingers and pinch the boomerang right here. Okay, so like this is how I'm hanging on to it. Bring the boomerang back so that when you let go, you're gonna flick it with your wrist. And when you throw it, you're gonna throw it vertical, a little off of vertical like this, not like this just like this, okay? And you're gonna snap it off your wrist. Throw it straight out, don't throw it up. Throw it straight out. If you throw it straight out and it goes around nice, then you've got a good flight. If it climbs up high, then I want you to bend the wings down a little bit. Just bend them down like this, okay, by your hand, because that will uh, bring the flight back down. If you're throwing it and it wants to go low and crash into the ground, do the opposite. Bend the wings up like this, and that'll bring the flight back up. 
okay? And pay attention to your airfoils right here too. Make sure that they're still bent down about as much as you see here on, on this one. See this side tapers down, top side. Okay, so let's show you some flights. Okay, she's climbing a little too much for what I want, so I'm going to bend the wings down a little bit. That should bring the flight back to a lower flight. Okay, both boomerangs on top of each other, top side, and try to throw them at the same time. <laughs> I didn't catch either of them, but they landed right next to me. Okay, let's see if we can get some consecutive throws and catches. Well, there's three until I dropped it. Okay, so I hope everybody enjoyed the video. This was Boomerangs by Vic and your Tupperware Boomerang.